Now, two Gambian soldiers have told the Truth, Reconciliation and Preparations Commission that they participated in the 2005 execution of 56 West African migrants, including 44 Ghanaians, on the orders of former President Yaya Jame. In addition to the Ghanaians, the massacre victims included citizens from Nigeria, Senegal, Togo, and Cote d'Ivoire. Lieutenant Malik Jata and Corporal Omar A. Jalo revealed to Gambia's Truth, Reconciliation, and Preparations Commission that the migrants were executed by the Jungler Squad, a paramilitary force that took orders from Jame across the Gambian border in Senegalese territory. A coalition of Ghana groups led by the former head of the Ghana Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Raj Justice Emil Short, has called on the government to expedite actions, steps legal, political, diplomatic, to make sure justice is served. Let's stay a while longer on this and speak with Samuel Abochi of Amnesty International a lot more on this. Thank you, sir, for joining us on Midday Live on TV3. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. So, to good afternoon. Yours. You have been championing this cause for a while now. What does this testimony by these two soldiers mean to the pact that you have been championing? Well, it just uh, adds up to the evidence that we've been gathering uh, so long after the UN and ECOWAS uh, uh, commission that investigates the case in uh, 2009 uh, declared that the government of Gambia and its uh, institutions were not responsible mm. or directly or indirectly in the killing of the 44 Ghanaians and other West African nationals. Uh, we haven't stopped there. Fresh evidence shows that indeed the jugglers who were uh, the hit squad yeah. of Yaya Jame were responsible for the killing of these nationals. And then I interview with them, uh, especially that was done by uh, uh, Tri International and Human Rights Watch, shows that indeed the jugglers took orders from SSS Yaya Jame. Mm. And these two soldiers that uh, uh, spoke at the, at the Truth and Reconciliation, uh, Truth Reconciliation and Reparatory uh, Commission clearly goes to buttress our points that indeed we have enough evidence to show that Yahya Jameh and his allies were responsible for the killing of these 44 Ghanaians and other West African nationals. Mm -hmm. So fo following the reports by the Human Rights Watch, government said it was opening investigations into this issue. How does these two testimonies, what sort of urgency do they bring to, to the investigation that government wants to carry out? It, it, it does, it does. We should, we should, we should at this time, mm -hmm. uh, I think the government and its institutions at this time start looking critically into the evidence that are uh, showing up at the, at the commission and uh, start uh, thinking of how to proceed. Fortunately, we are already in the campaign mood. Yeah. We have lined up a series of activities to draw the attention of the government, to draw support from the citizens of Ghana, mm. because majority of the majority uh, of the people killed are Ghanaian. 44 of our nationals killed in another uh, uh, country. Yeah. We shouldn't take that. Like kindly me. at all mm. we should prove that every single life of Ghanaian is very important mm. assuming these 44 Ghanaians are nationals of other countries like the US like Canada like Australia can you believe the agency With and which? the resources that these people will push yeah. into getting finality to this issue and that's is why we are calling on our government specifically that we should demonstrate that the life of these 44 Ghanaians shouldn't go waste. And then we are calling on the West African country, especially Nigeria, Senegal, Togo, and Cote d'Ivoire, whose nationals were also involved in, in, this massacre. in this massacre to also support the campaign. Mm. Hopefully, we are thinking that Yaya Jame will be brought from uh, uh, Guinea, Equatorial Guinea, to Ghana or any of these West Africa countries, especially Ghana, because of course we are we in the majority. Elijah, yeah. Yes, so we need to bring Yaya Jame to Ghana and try him for crime against humanity and the killing of the 44 nationals. That is what we want our president when he mounts the platform. 
with other West African president should push, push and push until Yaya Jame is, 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 is brought to Ghana. Mm. What will be an appropriate punishment or sanction for Yaya Jame from the perspective of Amnesty International? Well, justice, what the law says, of course, fair trial, the our laws even says that innocent until, until. proven guilty. Mm -hmm. and so at this point, Yaya Jame is just a suspect in the disappearance and killing of these people. So we think that the, both international law and local law, Ghana has the responsibility of bringing Yaya Jame to account for his stewardship, his involvement. Because evidence at the, at the commission is clearly pointing out to the fact that those who were involved in the killing are saying that we were ordered. We were given ordered. Can you imagine that 44 people and other nationals were killed without the knowledge of the president, without the knowledge of the interior minister, without the knowledge of the IGP? Could that happen in Ghana? It can't. <laughs> so you see that clearly we should be able to link the killing of the people to the responsibility that should have been exerted by these institutions, including the president. Mm. So we want to establish how he was involved, how his uh, uh, junglers or how the police or the, mili the military were involved in the killing of these people. That is what we want to establish. Mm. And we think that Ghana has that capacity to do that. Yeah, so uh, th th this case, bringing it to Ghana, it appears that not much of um, local interest is in the story. You earlier said that you have some programs to whip up the interests of Ghanaians. Quickly run us through yes, these programs. Yes, definitely. So on the 1st of uh, uh, August, we are, we are in Kumasi, the uh, second largest capital of Ghana. We are in Kumasi to, uh, for a, a, a forum, a public forum, engaging the political leadership of uh, Ashanti region. Mm. We are engaging heads of department. We are engaging the police. We are engaging the fire service. We are engaging the Commission of Human Rights. We are engaging civil society to take them through the genesis of this fight and where we want them to support us, especially calling on the government of Ghana to take the lead in demanding for justice for these people. When we finish Kumasi, there are other regions that we are heading towards, mm -hmm. and we want, to, we want to encourage the public to join in the debate so that we do not allow the life of these 44 Ghanaians to go waste. We should cherish each other. Yeah. It's human right, a right to life and right to travel. There's no crime to travel. And so we have to call Yaya Jame and his allies mm. to justice. Mm. Thank you very much for joining us. Samuel Abuchi is with International... The name is Abuchi. Agboche, Samuel Agboche, yes. is with Amnesty International and also a member of the Jame to Justice Ghana campaign, which is a civil society coalition.